yesterday I rewatched the movie Copland, uh, which is uh, a cop thriller um, from the late 70s, starring um, Robert De Niro, Harvey Keitel, and Sylvester Stallone. And I remember at the time it was a pretty interesting concept for a movie in that it uh, it depicted uh, Sylvester Stallone as the sort of past his prime, you know, uh, kind of uh, uh, loser, more or less, who uh, who's just who's been given this position where he just uh, where there's all kind all kinds of corruption going on, and he just looks the other way habitually because that's what he's expected to do. He's the sheriff of a town which uh, where a bunch of uh, corrupt cops live, uh, and that's uh, basically run by the mafia. Uh, and he gets, um, after a series of events, he gets uh, you know more uh, invested <clears throat> in what's going on and sees, sees through some of the things that he, he, some of the behavior that he'd just been content to, uh, to let go. Um, and in the end becomes a hero, um, in a, in a kind of bloody cathartic shootout that recalls, uh, Taxi Driver, among other movies. I found this movie to be quite, not, not quite as, uh, as interesting as, a, as I think I found it at the time. In 97, there seemed, seemed a little bit formulaic. It seemed, there seemed a little bit, uh, I don't know, just sort of paint-by-number char- uh, characterizations and, and so forth. It was okay. I didn't think it was great. But here's what, here's what stood out to me. Um, there's a final shot, uh, and uh, it's, it's uh, Robert De Niro, who's like the, in charge of this internal affairs group, you know, investigating corrupt cops, and so he has this brief um, narration at the beginning of the movie, and then at the end of the movie, um, after Stallone's character redeems himself and and uh, beats the bad guys, and you know, in, in a shootout with a, the help of uh, a sympathetic Ray Liotta, <laughs> this is this is a movie where Ray Liotta played a sympathetic character, but I, I don't think. That's been the case since since 1997. I mean, he was a character who had some problems, but he was still, generally speaking, a, a good a good guy who who rose to the occasion in the end. So uh, Leota and um, and Stallone bring uh, bring justice to uh, to the situation, take down some, some of the bad guys, rescue this this cop that's uh, that uh, was going to be murdered uh, due to um, him seeing too much or knowing too much or something like that, played by Michael Rappaport, who I actually liked back in the 90s. I actually thought he was an interesting actor back then. I think he's become kind of an annoying person, person like a lot of like a lot of Hollywood actors have um, since then. But I liked him back then. Anyway, so the final uh, shot is really kind of a... Uh, it, it's kind. Of, it's kind of. Uh, it, it makes you question why, why it was done in this way, why this shot was framed in this way, and it, what it features is the World Trade Center. Um, you have the voiceover of De Niro saying, "A lot of people didn't appreciate what uh, Stallone's character did." He said his name, not Stallone's character, but but he 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 saw something that they didn't. Nobody's above the law. That's the voiceover. Nobody's, and uh, he saw something they didn't. Nobody's above the law, and they pan from the police precinct up to the Twin Towers. And I, that just made me say, hmm, that's really weird. This was, of course, four years before 9 11. Um, and I know that I'm not saying every single movie which, is, which was set in New York. Uh, in the 70s, 80s, or 90s that featured the World Trade Center is predictive programming. I think that's foolish. I think that's silly. Obviously, they were they were landmarks of the New York skyline, and so they, you know, it makes sense they would be featured. But this movie just seemed to feature in, feature the towers in a way at a moment that that just was leaves you scratching your head. It's like why? 
How does this add anything to anything, story-wise? And uh, so it, it makes me open to the idea that this was some kind of predictive programming. Nobody's above the law. And they show the two, the two towers. Um, of course, what does that what does that really signify? What does that mean? Nobody's above the law. Uh, do the towers represent um, being above the law? Something that had to come down because it was a symbol of corruption? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really have any clue. I just, it was uh, significant enough. I know it's a really obscure thing to mention, uh, but that's what I do on this channel. I, I just talk about what I want to talk about. So anybody else who's seen this movie, who remembers this movie, um, tell me what you think, uh, if you have any any insight uh, into this this interesting final shot featuring the Twin Towers, the World Trade Center. Thanks for watching.